words in a Christmas carol. Well, I saw your post about the, was it a, a child care centre? Mm. And what they've proposed or what they were doing is to... A sustainable pirate. Not have Santa Claus and have a sustainable pirate. Mm. What is a sustainable pirate? I don't know. Most pirates that I knew robbed, stole, killed and raped them. Yeah. So I don't know how what a pirate's got to do with Christmas. Yeah. And look, I think too, if you ask the majority of people mm -hmm. that come to this country and said to them, you know... They don't care that we celebrate Christmas. Yeah, well, if anything, it'd be like, oh, yeah, we, we get right into it. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, like if... if um, That's true, I said, okay, the religious people get into the whole birth of Jesus, blah, blah, blah. But I bet 50% just get into it as Christmas family getting together, yeah. getting gifts, hanging out with family, yeah. having a holiday. That's and the majority of people that don't do the religious side of it just celebrate that side. The family yeah. comes over, they have dinner, everything like that. So I don't get why they got to go change all this bullshit. And then last night there were some Christmas carols. They changed the words in it for the kids to sing. I'm like... Which song? <laughs> I had to do it for oh, Lord, Lord. Yeah, so okay, yeah, down. right. And it's like, uh, I just don't, why bother? It's like, but the good pieces me off is, though, okay, it's this kindergarten or whatever it is, daycare, all the parents that take their kids there, why do they put up with that shit? It's like, have Santa or we're fucking pulling our kids out of here. Simple as that. Yeah, but you never know, it might be one of those areas where they're all um, tree huggers and... Um, you know, that, that, that sort of crew that don't actually associate with people. They're the ones that tree huggers that have climate change with their babies and use disposable nappies. No, no, well, that's a, I've got another one for, um, mm -hmm. for, for that. No, more just those ones that say, oh, yeah, diversity and whatever, mm -hmm. but only live with um, fellow tree huggers, mm -hmm. like in the, you know, wealthy middle class yeah, you areas. Don't same, you don't think the same as them? Well, well. Yeah, well, but there's never been, um, um, you know, I guess that's like I, I, I um, go for the Bulldogs, which is a pretty, uh -huh. pretty multicultural team, and, you know, you get right into the kebabs and whatever with the, the, the bros. That's racist. And, yeah, and it's like, you know, I don't need to, you know, change Santa or whatever to... Um, no, um, if you want to celebrate it, celebrate it. If you don't, don't. It's just like... When they do have, what, Kwanzaa or somebody has the Jewish holidays or people have the ones that where they don't eat on the other things, it's like, you, that doesn't bother me to yeah, celebrate yeah. that. Just another day to me, so yeah. I don't go stopping them doing that, yeah. do I? So. Oh, I think if you're in, um, I'm just trying to think of it, well, if you lived in China. Sydney. Um, you know, would you, would you, you know, You'd go along with their Chinese mm -hmm. New Year and all their other um, holidays. You wouldn't go there and go away. It's, it's like Australia, England and America. We bend over backwards to appease the small minority. But even like you said, the small minority probably aren't even offended. Yeah. It's just the dickheads that think, oh, we can't do that because that might offend them. Have you even asked them? Sometimes they do ask them. They're like, we don't care. We don't care if you celebrate yeah. it. So they, and that's the thing, Sigurd, that causes division because if they say well we're not having Santa so we don't want to upset people people go well that's probably the Muslims or this or that so and people start hating them but if you ask them they're like we don't care they yeah. don't bother us so these people on the council or the board of the school they're the ones causing all the bloody problems so yeah I like the, the ones where um, you know the the diversity set the mm -hmm. you know the Champagne socialists, all those ones, start preaching um, their thing, and um, but then the worlds collide. There was one in, um, you know, that in parts of England where there's a strong Muslim mm -hmm. um, populations, and then you know the, the the education departments rolled this stuff out about you know transgenders and mm -hmm. all that sort of thing, and then they go and try and put it into these schools and these these. Um, um, Religious groups don't want it, and it's It'd be like it. Now you think, you imagine going to China? If a lot of, I'm sure Australians live there, or 
let's say we should go to Saudi Arabia. They're not going to suddenly ban their holiday and go, oh, we've got, some, <laughs> we've got some Australians here. They celebrate, you know, Christianity and Christmas. So we've got to ban Mohammed and this year we're going to have Santa come to the school. Do you think they're going to change that for us? Yeah. Like, well, yeah, no um, sustainability pirates over, over there. Well, Maybe in Somalia they would. <laughs> they have sustainable terrorists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they've, they've got good pirates over there. Somalia. Yeah. Take the ships hostage and get ransom. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that movie with Tom Hanks. Yeah. No, it's uh, that's the ironic thing. <laughs> like pirate sustainability pirate. It's uh, um, they're doing good for the climate because they're taking the oil ship hostage. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Thing. They could get the money for it and then sink it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must just be like money because they think, okay, if we do get on board the ship and we do get it, these oil companies are going to pay millions to get their yeah. ship back. So, oh, I think now, like, it's a bit harder because um, they've got guns on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've, Armed guards. They've um, stolen off the uh, wrong people, and <laughs> you can imagine what would happen if they uh, t mm -hmm. tried to take a, a Chinese oh. ship or. Uh, <laughs> North Korea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here comes a missile. Yeah. There's no. Um, the thing is, though, these days, if you saw one of those pirate ships come, you just open fire on it, wouldn't you? Yeah, oh, for sure. They don't let them get close to the ship, just. Yeah, yeah. Shoot a couple across their heads and see what happens. No, I don't know why they keep got to change stuff. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, I think it's, if anything, it's. And like I said, it's causing the division because. Yeah. I can guarantee if you ask the Muslims, the Jewish people, or whoever, anyone that doesn't celebrate, if you said, do you mind if these yeah. kids have Santa, they'll probably be like, no, yeah. we don't mind at all. But see, like I said, a little board of dickheads that sit there going, we should do this because we don't want to upset them. How about you ask them? Yeah. Pretty much people that come to this country know that a lot of it's Christian based and they do celebrate this, so. Yeah, on, oh, really when you look at it. As long as you're not forcing their kids to do it, I don't see them having a problem with it. Like, yeah, it is sort of semi-Christian, but it's, it's not more, like, no. um, you know... I think, you, I think it's getting further further away yeah, from it Yeah, I don't think you can even... I remember when I was young, you'd always see it, like, when you see all the Christmas decorations or even the shopping centres, it'd always be that nativity set of the manger and the donkey yeah. and Jesus and the wise men. Hell, you don't see that anymore, so... Yeah. It's just Santa and blah, blah, blah and stuff like that. Then they had a thing on the other day... Or two weeks ago about there's a whole big thing about with Santa saying you know the women's movement again coming out in force that Santa should be a female oh really and people are like well isn't there a Mrs. Claus it's like what do you mean they're like oh no but you know always just this day and age now we need to be accepting and stuff that we should have female Santas as well but it's like Santa's based on a fucking man, you know, Saint Nick from back in the old fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the whole thing of the whole James Bond now, once Daniel Craig's done, they're going to convert over to that black girl who's in this movie, I think, and watch sales drop next year, because why change James Bond, who's an English spy, whatever, and even women love him because they fantasise about having this, you know, debonair spy come and yeah. make love to him and get into danger. Yeah. So it's like, if they change it to a woman, sales are going to drop. You watch them bring following you they'll bring fucking the man back again because rather than make James Bond a female just doing a whole new character but, but, same as Little Mermaid instead of making Little Mermaid black why can't Ariel have a black friend it's like um, just um, back to the what what are they going to call it if it's James Bond and it's are they going to make a Jane Bond or fucking yeah <laughs> but it's like I just yeah. don't get why is it always well I've got to go from white to black or male to female. Why is it never female to male or a black like that movie Shaft? Yeah. Why don't we remake that with a white actor? It's like yeah. now if you're gonna go each way, fucking make it fair. It's like But then they said like even that my friend went to see he said that Charlie's Angels were shit. Yeah. Because they try and push the woman agenda. They just remade Black Christmas for the third time and every review because my wife loves that horror movie, every review just says it's that so far pushing the woman's agenda in this movie Black Christmas the horror movie that men are bad and this and that and the women that are oh, no. even Terminator Dark Fate it was so pushing the woman's agenda in that way they're talking about did you see Terminator a new one 
why they're talking about her, you know, she's the one that's going to have the baby to save the future, that's why they're trying to kill her. But then, as towards you get to the end of the movie, that's not your baby, it's you. You are going to lead the uprising. You are more than a womb. You are this strong power. It's like, oh, fuck, here we go again. So the whole women agenda, they're pushing, and then that woman that's in Charlie's Angels goes, see, men, the movie flop because men just don't like seeing women in strong... It's like, you women outnumber us three to one. Even the women didn't go watch your shit movie. So if all the women supported your movie, it would have fucking done okay, wouldn't it? So... You know, you want to know what I've got to go change shit for like that. It's just... Well, I, I haven't seen the Terminator one, and I'd, I'd, be, a woman agenda. I'd be reluctant to, to see it just because of... Oh, you'll, you'll notice that when they say you're more than just a worm, you're this. And yeah. That. And even I was at the last Captain Marvel. Yeah. A lot of the scenes in that were towards the end. It's just all the women getting together to go. And I was like, oh, fucking hell. And, you know, it's just so obvious the way they push it. And you know what? There's, you know, like the, the way I look at it, you can't push these things, like you've got to let them happen mm -hmm. uh, organically. And the thing is, too, is like, look, I'm all for when they even come down to equal pay. If my job is a CEO and I'm doing so much work and she does the exact same work, she should get the same amount of money. But have you ever noticed when women talk about equal pay, it's always the CEO or this. Why are they never talking about equal pay and this woman wants to be a plumber or this woman no, wants no, to be no. a tiler or a roofer? Why is it? The women that want equal pay are going for these big executive jobs. It's like, why don't you go be a labourer and do brickwork, lady? Why don't you go do this or do that? It's like, why are you pushing for these big jobs that you want to get equal pay in? There's, I don't see many women lined up to go do plumbing or electricians or labour work out there on the fucking council. Well, we'll, we'll discuss that in depth further. But mm. uh, and the thing with that is, like, the, it's you, you could come up with any number with with that and. The thing that annoys me is they they don't put any value on um, a women a women being at home, mm -hmm. and that's the thing because some women who like I said if you're in a position where you haven't blown your budget and got this huge house and mortgages mm -hmm. and shit would both have to work if the woman doesn't have to work you know being at home is a job looking after the kids yeah, taking yeah. care of the household but yet if you say that's what you do other women put you down like oh, what you don't want to be a strong woman you don't want to go to get a job and do this it's like. Some women are quite happy staying at home, looking after the kids, raising the kids, getting meals ready, doing yeah. the housework and stuff like that. But other women, it's almost like they bash them because, oh, that's what you do. It's like you're a housewife. It's like, yeah. what's wrong with that, you know? I'm also, you know, the thing that, that they're measuring um, a job based on money. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we all know of how many rich and famous people that end up blowing their heads off because yeah. they're they're miserable so money exactly. doesn't always equate to yeah, it's like find a job you love and if you're good at it you know but the thing is too that comes down to two where sometimes they take into account okay if she gets pregnant she's going to be off for this many months yeah. of the year and child leave and this and that why the man's still going to be working so sometimes the man just gets paid more yeah oh so, but but it's also too, it's like, you know, when they had affirmative action in America, now they want here, it's like, well, we should have so many women in these positions. Look, I'm all for, if the woman's qualified for that position, put her in it. But don't have a guy yeah. who's totally qualified and this woman hasn't got anywhere near the same scores, but you go, oh, we need a woman to fill the quota, put her in the job when she's not the most qualified for the job. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck, you know? Well, I think the, you know, for the people that, the equal pay people for women, it's, if you use the the richest woman in Australia... I think the top CEO in Australia right now is a woman the highest paid. No, no, but I'm talking about, you know, Gina Reinhardt, oh, yeah. the thing. Exactly. Yeah, she's, she's the daughter of a, a mining mm -hmm. magnet, and uh, she's currently in court with her kids um, because well, they're... Fighting over the money. And fighting that. over her money, so that, that just shows you that... Mm -hmm. um, and now you got, was it just last week, the... You know, since Bob Hawke passed away, his kids are fighting over the money of his and stuff, and now one's come out saying she was sexually abused by a minister back in the day. And so, so. Yeah, but, you know, for the women, what would you rather be the highest paid woman in Australia? Well, but if they want equal rights, I'm equal rights across everything then. If there's a divorce and that husband's not a threat to the children and stuff, 50-50, you don't get yeah. half everything or you get more time seeing the kids than he gets. Everything's always the women's side yeah. when it comes to that shit. She can have nothing come into a marriage. She can have the job, everything. She leaves, might have a kid or two, now she gets the fucking house. She has to pay her yeah. child support. If you want equality, it should go the other way as well then. 
Yeah. If he hasn't got a good job and you've got the good job, you should be paying him then. But no, it always goes to the woman's side. And men need more money anyway because, okay, some women pay now. What they do the off. Let me get my purse out. <laughs> <my bullshit. But laughs> if you're going out with a woman, generally the guy, if he's a nice guy, always buys dinner or buy her food, take her to the movies. If they go on holidays, generally the guy pays. If a woman's single and doesn't have a boyfriend, she goes to a club. How many good-looking women really pay for a fucking drink? Yeah. Shit like that. That's why men need more money because we're paying for your fucking asses all the time. That's yeah. why. They, don't, they probably some good-looking girls could go out for a night in Sydney, wouldn't even spend a fucking dollar. Well, I, I know that that <laughs> um, that that happens. Um, exactly. We, we if you're buying, and if you are buying drinks and shit, you're just an ugly cunt then. Because yeah. <laughs> no, no. Well, it's, um, but also too for the the, the women that do that. That's. Um, it's really, um, you know, you've got to take your hat off to them. They're taking the first step towards prostitution. So, exactly. um, and then they'll go home and sleep with the guy. And yeah. Like, oh, I used to talk about that before because there'd be girls in America that were talking about the prostitutes and go, oh, my God, yeah. look at her, she's a slut. I mean, she's making money. I used to know some over in Vegas. They owned a couple of homes. They had their cars paid off. The houses were paid off, and they're only early 30s. They're like, leave by the time I'm 40, I'm going to retire. And these fitness girls like, you know, she's a slut. She is, I'm thinking... You fuck guys that go on the cover of a magazine, you ain't getting nothing. Or you go to a fucking after party after a contest yeah. and you fucking guys for free and you're calling her a slut because she's fucking actually making money yeah. doing it. Well, and they'll say too, they're not going out with, um, you know, old Trev the, the, that's, um, um, you know, cleaning tables or, um, yeah. you know, the local garbo. Mm-hmm. They're going out with, you know, the guy with the flash car and the... Exactly. 